So this is going to be a comparison between a real 5153 50 watt head on the red channel and a whole bunch of amp models across a couple of different units. So we have recordings for the Line 6 Helix and we also have recordings for the Axe FX 2. Shout out to my friend Max who did the reamping for me. Um, and so basically I recorded uh, a chunk of a chunk of a song with both palm mutes and open chords uh, and I reamped that DI through through all these different things. This is the DI. And the gold standard, for me at least, is the real amp set to the red channel going through a load box and then going through an own hammer Marshall 4x12 impulse response. This is that. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's quite a thick, chunky tone. It responds well to the palm mutes and it sounds quite open and dynamic. So I'm gonna go through all of the different reamps. The, uh, the first one that I'm gonna play you is the Helix Panama, which is a 5150 block letter model. It's going through the same impulse, so the only variable changing here is the amp model. I'm just going to run through each one of these so we'll move on to the archetype lead which is a PRS Archon amp set to the uh, high gain channel <laughs> Solo Lead OD, which is a Soldano SLO 100. Thank you. 
So with this next one, I wasn't terribly happy with the results up to this point. So I chucked up the uh, Line 6 Epic model, which is a very good model. And I performed a tone match between that and the real amp going through the impulse response. And then I translated the results of that tone match over to the built-in EQs on the Helix. So again, this is the Line 6 Epic going through the same impulse response. And all of these go through the same impulse response. But this one has an additional level of EQ to sort of bring it more in line with the real amp. And then I sent the DI over to my friend, as I said, and he reamped that DI through several passes of different models on the Axe FX2 with the same impulse response. So again, we're comparing like for like as much as we can. This was the 5153 red channel model. So it's the 100 watt, not the 50 watt. Uh, and this is with a basic level of tweaking, just uh, just gain adjustments and bass, middle, treble, the sort of stuff that you would tweak on an amplifier. <laughs> And the next one, he tweaked some of the advanced speaker page parameters. <laughs> And we were also interested in trying out the 5150 block letter. So this is with no boost. <laughs> Thank you. 
and this one is with a tube screamer as a boost in front of the amp. <laughs> And then a final pass with that particular model, except with slightly less gain. <laughs> At which point we decided that the 6505 Plus was also worth a try. <laughs> And for good measure, I also reamped through the real amp on the red channel with the exact same settings, but not using the load box. Instead, plugged into my Egnator Tallmaster 4x12 with Vintage 30 speakers, and I mic'd it up with an SM57 Beta A, um, sort of midway between the cone and the edge. So this is going to sound very different, but it illustrates the impact of speakers and cabs on your tone. <laughs> So, what I'm going to quickly do is I'll take the, the real amp with the load box and the impulse response, and I'll unmute that. I will loop this region, and let's just zoom in a little bit so that we get a good look at the waveforms. 
and I'll just hide that top view for the moment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this back and I'm just going to randomly go through. In fact, no, I won't randomly do it. I'll go down from the top, uh, soloing the channels so that you can get a good AB experience. <laughs> Finally, what I've done, if I focus on these items, what I've done is I've chopped up some of the palm mute sections and I've essentially double tracked. So I've taken two different performances from each reamp and essentially I'm playing them at the same time and hard panning them left and right so if I open this arrangement list again you can see across the top the name of the currently playing reamp uh, and what I'll do is I'll just play through this these are all going to be the palm mute section So that should give you some idea of what these different models sound like on palm mutes in a recording context and also what a real cab and microphone sounds like in a recording context. I've also done a similar thing for some of the chord sections. So just as one final thing, I'll play you that.
And there we have it. So, let me know what you thought. Let me know which one you think sounds the best to your tastes. I know which one I preferred. But I'm interested in what people out there in the real world thought of this test, thought of these tones. Um, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. If you want to see anything regarding the Line 6 Helix, add a comment and I'll do my best to accommodate uh, and catch you in the next video.